Hi everyone, it's time for another FTC recap and we've got 8 awesome events to recap for you today, including the Michigan State Championship, the Chesapeake Fairlawn Qualifier 1, the Chesapeake Alexander Qualifier 1, the Chesapeake Alexander Qualifier 3, the Chesapeake McHenry Qualifier, the Oregon Silicon Forest League East Meet, the Iowa Bettendorf League Tournament, and the South Florida League Meet 3. All here coming up on FTC Recap. Your destination for first content, updates, and gaming. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. We'd like to thank Stryker for their continued support of First Updates Now. Stryker's internship portal is now open and available. Discover internships and rotational programs located around the world, including their headquarters in Michigan, when you go to careers.stryker.com and click on Students and Graduates. First Updates Now is supported by Kettering University. On average, Kettering students earn $45,000 to $70,000 over the course of their co-op program to help them graduate debt-free. 99% of students qualify for a merit scholarship, and you can apply for one of the 80-plus first scholarships worth up to $25,000 each. Schedule your virtual visit to get started at Kettering.edu. Hi, I'm Ishan, and the first event I'm going to take a look at is the Michigan State Championship taking place from December 16th through 18th. In Michigan, there are actually two state championships one in Battle Creek and one in Warren. Each championship had two divisions of 36 teams. Each team played six qualification matches and had normal alliance selection and elimination matches. To determine the winner of each event, the winning alliance from each division played against each other in a finals division. Starting out with the Battle Creek event, the Edison division had a high score of 320 points. This was scored by 16646 Zubotics Linden Grove and 5385 the Enigma Riddlers. Zubotics Linden Grove took the first seed and picked the third seed of the Enigma Riddlers with the first pick. The second seed, 8492 Titanium Trojans, picked the fourth seed, 13917 Zubotics Hillside. This took the number five seed, 5386 Fabricators, as the third alliance captain. They picked 10024 Twisted Black Devils, which was the sixth seed, so the seventh seed, 8533, became the fourth alliance captain. The number one alliance swept the semifinals, putting up an event high score of 326 points in semifinal one, match number one. The number two alliance lost the first match, but came back in the second and third match to win the semifinals. The number one alliance swept the finals, just barely winning finals match number two by five points, sending them on to the finals division. In the Franklin division, we had a qualification match high score of 262 points by team 15229, team kudos, and Team 19561, Tech Tigers Black. Neither team managed to be in the top four seeds, with Team 10612, Jefferson Side Dogs, taking the first seed. They picked the second seed, 10255, Robo Ducks, which put the third seed, 8646, in the second alliance captain position. They picked the fourth seed, 15465, Team Crash, making the fifth seed, 13702, Joe Bots White, take the third alliance captain position. The sixth seed, 11228, Overcooked Bots, became the 4th Alliance captain. All elimination matches were swept by the higher seed, with a division high score of 310 points being scored by the number 1 Alliance in semifinal 1, match number 1. In the finals division, the Edison division won after losing the first final match. The winning alliance was Zubotics Linden Grove, Enigma Riddlers, and Zubotics United. For awards at Battle Creek, 5290 the Steel Eagles won the Inspire Award with 7043 Golden Gears coming in second, 11617 Chelsea Glitch coming in third. Clear standouts from this event were the two Zubotics teams that got together, Zubotics Linden Grove and Zubotics United. It was clear that they had planned to work together from the beginning and they had practiced together that really helped them in winning the second elimination match every single time. At the state championship in Warren, we had the Curie and Flowers divisions. The Curie Division had a high qualification match score of 269 points scored by 14010 Techno Phoenix and 10136 Frost Robo Falcons. The Frost Robo Falcons hit the first seed, winning all six of their matches. 15256 Techno Knights was in second, 7253 Raging Robots was in third, and 15004 Techno Logic was in fourth after qualifications. The Techno Knights picked Raging Robots, causing 10016. Clarkson Robo Wolves to take the fourth alliance position. We had a lot of close matches in these eliminations, with semifinal two match number two ending in a tie, but in the end, the higher seed always won. A division high score was set of 296 by the number one alliance in finals match number three. 
In the Flowers Division, there was a slightly lower qualification match high score of 257 points scored by 14706 Armada Pie Gears and 8487 Robo Toasters. Armada Pie Gears took the number one seed with 16668 Four Gear Clovers taking second, 11691 Scripps Dragon taking third, and 8580 Oakview Cyber Dragons taking fourth. The Four Gear Clovers picked the Oakview Cyber Dragons, causing 5237 to be the fourth alliance captain. All of the semifinals were swept by the higher seed, but in the finals, the lower seed swept. At the finals division, it went back and forth with each alliance taking one match, but in finals match number 3, an event high score of 294 points was set by the Curia Alliance, leading them to win the event. The winning alliance comprised of Frost Robo Falcons, the Clarkson Robo Wolves, and Techno Phoenix. For the Inspire Award, 11129 Novi Robo Titans took first, 16607 Midnight Creators took second, and Techno Phoenix took third. Welcome back to First Updates Now. I'm Sanjay, and today we're looking at the Silicon Forest East Me 3 event from January 8th held in Hillsboro, Oregon. When we visited Oregon last week, the highest score was 218 points. This time, the high score was set as an astonishing 316 points, making it the 8th highest official score in the world. This phenomenal score was set in match number 10 by teams 12808 Revamp Robotics and 8610 Tech. This match secured Revamp's rank as 1st place and Tech's rank as 2nd place, swiftly followed by 12599 Overcharge in 3rd place. Tech was a real standout at this event, being the only team able to consistently score 3 Fright in addition to the preloaded Fright during the autonomous period. In the highest scoring match, we even get to see the first and only double cap from this league meet, giving the Blue Alliance an additional 30 points in the endgame. Since we last visited Oregon, scores and strategies throughout the match have definitely increased in advance. It's exciting to see the amazing progress of teams as time goes on. And now we're taking a look at the Benendorf League Tournament, also from January 8th, held in Benendorf, Iowa. During the qualification matches, the high score was 175 points set by teams 8813, the Winter Soldiers, and 8588, the Finger Puppet Mafia. By the end of the qualification, teams 8813, the Winter Soldiers, was ranked first, 8743, Raw Bacon, ranked second, 13532, Eaglebots, ranked third, and 10082, Mechanicats, ranked fourth. During the alliance selection, 8813 picked the 8th ranked team, 8672, You Bet, and 23rd ranked team, 10602, Nut and Bolt, making up the first seed alliance. The first seed alliance dominated the semifinals with a new high score of 228 points, advancing them into the finals against the second seed alliance. With differences in scores of almost 100 points, the first seed alliance won the finals and became the winning alliance of this event. In addition to being the winning alliance captain and the Inspire Award winner, Team 8813, the Winter Soldiers, were a real send out at the team at this event. With the unique side deposit, they were able to quickly and efficiently cycle on both the alliance and shared shipping hubs. It will be very interesting to see the performance of Iowa teams later on. That's it for this event, and we hope to see you next time on First Updates Now. Next up is the Chesapeake Fairlawn Qualifier. This event of 17 teams was broken up into three cohorts of eight teams. Some teams played surrogate matches in the second cohort. This was due to the COVID-19 limitations. Each team would play five matches in their cohort, and the highest seed would win the event. The highest score of the event was 196 points scored by 16839, the Portable Blue Devils, and 15167, the Robo Troopers. This was due to 16 pieces of cargo being scored on the teleoperating period between the Alliance Hub and the Shared Hub. Surprisingly, neither of these teams took the top seed, with 4924, the Redbeard Pandas, taking first, 8094, Robotic Rampage, taking second, 15167, the Robo Troopers, taking third, and 14575 Capobots taking fourth. This event clearly showed how consistency is key. Even though Robo Troopers had a significantly higher scoring potential than the Redbeard Pandas, the Redbeard Pandas were able to consistently score points in all five of their matches, allowing them to win the event. In terms of awards, the Capobots took first Inspire, Redbeard Pandas took second Inspire, 14169 BC4H Party Time took third Inspire. Advancing to the Chesapeake Championship from this qualifier are the Capobots. Redbeard Pandas, and Robotic Rampage. During the weekend of the 15th of January and 16th of January, there were three Chesapeake qualifiers starting out with the McHenry Qualifier. This event of 17 teams was broken into two cohorts due to COVID-19 limitations. 
Each team would play five matches in their cohort, and the highest seed team would win the event. The high score of 204 points was scored by 9794wizards.exe and 5421, Armed and Dangerous. Even though Armed and Dangerous didn't score as much in Autonomous as they had in the first qualifying, 16 pieces of freight scored in Teleop, and 9 ducks helped them reach the score. These two teams took the number 1 and 2 seeds, with 19890distractors.exe taking the 3rd seed and 20194 jackpots taking the 4th seed. The clear standouts from this event were Wizards.exe having the highest average score across 5 qualification matches in the Chesapeake region. Armed and Dangerous was another high scoring team, but their autonomous consistency just wasn't there like it was at their first qualifier. In terms of awards, Wizards.exe took 1st Inspire, Distractors.exe took 2nd Inspire, and Armed and Dangerous took 3rd Inspire. Advancing to the Chesapeake Championship from this qualifier are Wizards.exe, Distractors.exe, and Jackpots, since Armed and Dangerous had already advanced from the previous qualifier. The next qualifier during this triple header weekend was the Alexandria 1 qualifier. This qualifier had 35 teams broken up into 4 cohorts due to COVID-19 limitations. Each team played five qualification matches in their cohort, and the highest seed team would win the event. A Chesapeake record of 236 points was scored in qualification match 36 by 19876, N-1, and 11534, Bot Brigade Quartet. They had an 81-point auto plus a solid teleop and endgame to help them hit the score. 19434, Redstone Mechanics managed to take the first seed, with N-1 taking the second seed, 8702 Innovotics taking the third seed, and 19670 Turtle Robotics taking the fourth seed. There were a lot of really good teams at this event, with Redstone Mechanics and N-1 being true standouts. Redstone Mechanics didn't have the scoring power of N-1, but they were super consistent during auto, which helped them clinch that number one seed. In terms of awards, Bot Brigade Quartic took the first Inspire award, 10515 Extreme Voltage took second Inspire, and 12838 Lancaster Kinetic Storm took third Inspire. Advancing to the Chesapeake Championship from this qualifier are Bot Brigade Quartic, Redstone Mechanics, Extreme Voltage, N-1, Lancaster Kinetic Storm, and Innovotics. The final qualifier during that weekend was the Alexandria 3 qualifier. This qualifier had 20 teams broken up into 3 cohorts due to COVID-19 limitations. Each team played 5 qualification matches in their cohort, and the highest seeded team would win the event. The high score of this event was 200 points scored by 11112 Robolords and 16605 Yogic Transformers. An 82 point auto plus a 74 point endgame helped them beat their opponent by just 3 points in this match. Longtime powerhouse, the Frogbots 4634, took the number 1 seeds, with the Robolords taking the 2nd seed, 12096 Absolute Zero taking the 3rd seed, and 17080 Mute.exe taking the 4th seed. The true standout from this event was the Frogbots. Sure, they didn't have the best auto or the best endgame, but their teleop capabilities were unmatched. In their best match, they scored over 100 points during the teleop period. With some tuning, they could definitely improve their consistency and their autonomous to make them a really high scoring team. In terms of awards, 18103 Nth Degree took 1st Inspire, 12096 Absolute Zero took 2nd Inspire, and 16605 The Yogic Transformers took 3rd Inspire. And advancing to the Chesapeake Championship are Nth Degree, Frogbots, Absolute Zero, and Yogic Transformers, since Rebel Lords has already advanced from the first qualifier. The South Florida League, as well as a few other leagues in Florida, still embrace the remote format from last year due to COVID. They have done a hybrid format with two in-person events and two remote events. Meet 3 being the final remote event before the league championship. Teams will submit their scores from their own schools and this event probably highlights the quickest climb for a lot of these teams. Coming in first place is Team 16391 that held the highest record back from Meet 2, which was an in-person event, with a score of 163. Until Meet 3, the rest of the teams were all in the low 110s, but now we have 10 and 30 moving up from 5th into 2nd with a high score of 160, being a lot more consistent overall with not one match below 130. Coming in 3rd place, Team 13233 took the highest record for South Florida by just 1 point, with a score of 164. Keep in mind that this is just by the team itself and not with the partner. As well as the 4th and 5th place team, 12731 and 9987 staying close behind, with a high score of 140 and 125 respectively. These teams may not have been able to pair up to get an even higher score, but we can see enough competition coming from this league at the Florida State Championship. We just have to wait until the league championship to see what these alliances have to offer. 
Thanks for watching FTC Recap. We'll be releasing more FTC Recap videos every other week, so make sure to stay tuned for that. If you'd like your event to be covered, send us a message on Discord with a link to your event's video. We're also bringing back FTC Top 25, so make sure to join our Discord at discord.gg slash firstupdatesnow and follow us on social media. We look forward to seeing you next time on Fun FTC. Thanks to Kettering University for their support of this video. Kettering University is a national leader in experiential STEM and business education. Discover why so many FIRST alumni come to Kettering University by scheduling a virtual visit at Kettering.edu. We'd like to thank Stryker for their continued support of FIRST Updates Now. Stryker's internship portal is now open and available. Discover internships and rotational programs located around the world, including their headquarters in Michigan, when you go to careers.stryker.com and click on Students and Graduates. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.